Okay. Miss Kim NG, first of all, welcome to our beautiful island of Curaçao. Is this your first visit to Curaçao? It is my first visit to Curaçao. It's beautiful. So thank you for having us here. Okay. Who is Kim NG? Oh boy, that's a long, long answer uh, for such a short person. Uh, let's see, I began my career in baseball 20-something um, years ago with the Chicago White Sox. I was there for six years, I went to the American League for one, then I became assistant GM of the New York Yankees for four good years, uh, 98 to 01, uh, 10 years with the Los Angeles Dodgers, and then now two years with MLB. So that's been where that's where I've been. Um, so baseball executive, love the game, and uh, and happy to be here today. Okay. Is that work easy for a woman? No, I don't think it's easy for anybody though. Um, you know, baseball is a very difficult sport. Um, difficult to evaluate. You know, under the conditions sometimes that you have. But um, you know, I, I will say I've been very very fortunate in my career to have people who've supported me, who've understood where I come from and, and uh, you know, been very generous with their time. Uh, so I've been very, very lucky. Uh, you know, not always easy, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, baseball's tough. Okay. What's the main reason of your visit to our beautiful island of Curaçao? Uh, number one, we wanted to see what the talent was in Curaçao. Obviously, we've had a number of players come into the professional league uh, over the over many years. Uh, yeah, I wanted to come see it for myself. Number two was to have this showcase here uh, so that we could see the talent. And I think number three, just to find out more about the structure of baseball on the island. Um, and it's uh, the people that we've met have been very generous with their time and very, uh, you can tell their commitment and their passion for the game, which is tremendous for me and my staff to see firsthand. Um, and to really get an understanding of, of what baseball is being played here. Is it a surprise for you and your staff for so a uh, tiny island from 150,000 inhabitants having so many players in the States playing for the Major League? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's nothing really short of incredible. Um, to have just 150,000 on the island. And I was uh, talking about some numbers last night. In 2012, we had 12 players from Curacao sign with the major league clubs, which is a very high percentage for such a small place. Um, so I think it's, it's really a sign of the quality of the talent that exists on the island and I think makes us very interested to help grow it here. Uh, we will have some uh, support from the Major League International for Curacao? Yes, definitely. That's why we're here. Um, again, to, to do this showcase, uh, you know, to support RBI in whatever ways we can and to really develop relationships with key people on the island for future growth. Do you know some of our players playing in the MLB? I do. I actually uh, I was with the Dodgers when we had Kenley Jansen. And I remember Kenley went two for four one night in rookie ball, and I said, don't make him a pitcher yet. Keep him catching. He got two hits. So it was, uh, it was funny. He obviously, we made the right decision in the end, making him a pitcher. Um, but he, and he's turned out to be so, so good. Very, very good. Uh, Andrew Jones, we had at the Dodgers uh, maybe five, six years ago. Um, Simmons and Profar obviously having you know very nice success in the big leagues so you know it's again very exciting for the people of Curacao to see uh, so many of their athletes and again the, the, the quality of the athletes.